Maybe this will help a, a little bit more. This absolutely blew my mind. Just a little journey through our solar system. Everyone knows our planets and sort of how we fit in to the story here. You see really quickly that we're not even the biggest deal in our own solar system, but as Earth comes by, you have to know tonight that we are living on a privileged planet. Anyone would tell you we're living at one of the most special places, if not the most special place in all of creation. But Neptune comes by and Saturn and then Jupiter and you're like, okay, we're not all that big, even in our own little cul-de-sac. I just noticed the blue dot fading away is not the earth. That's Neptune. The earth has gotten too small to see anymore. Sirius comes by. Little plug for satellite radio. Not the biggest star, but the brightest star that we have found so far. Pollux, which we didn't mention. Arcturus. Such a beautifully named one, Regal. But then the one that messed me up. Our third star, Musifi. Musifi's cousin, W. Sifi. Majoris. And do you know that you couldn't come up here right now with a Sharpie and make a mark on the screen that would approximate the size of our sun? You couldn't even do it. I mean, when you look at these and their relative size, we just have to put a little arrow over there that says, if you could put the sun on here, which you can't, it would go somewhere about here. And um, can you hang on that for me? And when you see this, I don't know what happens to you, but I'll tell you what happens to me. A shrinking feeling comes over me, and it's not a bad shrinking feeling, it's a good shrinking feeling. Because sin, it has a a way of shrinking God down in our minds and puffing us up in our own estimation. But just a glance into the universe that God has made resizes everything in a heartbeat. 